What's going on everyone, how are you? Today is all about making the bow plate along with making the inner rims for the gunnels. So if you wanna run massive strips of LEDs flooding into the gunnels, this is how you would make that lift. Pretty substantial advantage. And also this bow plate video, I know I've done other ones, but this is by far the best one. Including a full install of a trolling motor, I didn't do the full install of the Altrex. The Altrex still has to be linked up to a bunch of other electronics that I'm doing right now, but we will have full install videos on everything, how to install massive amounts of serious electronics in your boat. And these will, these will actually be good tutorials, not the current tutorials on YouTube right now. Before we get into this video, I wanted to announce my new channel. It's uh, the DIY Titan, or Titan of DIY, whatever you want to call it, but that's what I'm calling my new secondary channel, not a primary channel. This one will always be my primary channel but I have a lot of stuff. I record everything I do, not just boat builds. I do DIY stuff all across the board. And um, I try and do them in ways that educate people. But a lot of the projects just simply don't apply to this channel. This channel is very polarized and it's gridlocked on, on boats and fishing. Like strictly, it has to be that. And uh, I ran a poll for this. It's really kind of self-evident that I needed to make a new channel and I shouldn't just be. If I'm gonna ever develop like a serious audience like I developed for this channel, it has to be its own platform. So this is my new channel for a universal DIY platform that I'm gonna use specifically to go head to head against some of these other alleged DIY kings. I think a lot of them are just where they're at because there's no real competition, but we can change that. So if you wanna check it out, here it is, up subscribe and hit the notification bell and you will see the first set of videos launch within the upcoming week. Now that that's done, let's get into this. Remember that subfloor we took out at the very beginning of the gut? That was actually a very nice sheet of aluminum that was a 1 inch thick sheet with its own gunnels already attached to it. And it's more or less in the shape of the bow anyways, just needs to be fine tuned and trimmed. So we ripped off the marine vinyl, we stuck it on here, and we traced, we made sure it was level, right directly level with that front little bench. Then we traced it. Now this is how you would have to handle any piece right now if you had a piece of sheet metal from anywhere. You can also find sheets like this from your local metal shop, or you can just use a piece of wood and just take care of it the right way. We used a five and a half inch circular saw with a Diablo blade, and that's what gave us this nice clean edge. And it was a pretty good fit from our template. We're almost at the point where we can secure this to the gunnels of the boat, but before that, we need to go ahead and cut to fit a piece of angled aluminum that will fit right in here. This is a 3 16th inch piece, because I want absolute rigidity, because we're not gonna be able to afford any sort of other under supports underneath this. We installed the bow plate with a series of countersink stainless hardware and countersink rivets where appropriate. Before we finish that off and we install the trolling motor, I want to run these gunnels. There's, it's a perfect spot to do it right now where everything's fresh and nothing else is actually really installed. This is half inch by 1 16th square aluminum tubing and it is skinny enough and thin enough to bend to the contour of your boat's gunnels. And we are riveting it every so often. You can either use, I think, three quarter inch or one inch rivets, one inch pop rivets. We're using them every so often, about every six inches. We're just working down the clamps as we go down to make sure it stays level. And we just do that for both sides. And then we have a very, very nice inner lip that can angle the LED strips toward the deck instead of like straight or away from the deck. And the result is it doesn't blind you as bad and it makes the deck pop even more. Now we're onto the trolling motor. This is an Ultrex from Minn Kota, the latest and greatest with the Mega DI imaging. And uh, we'll be installing this one today, along with a bunch of other electronics that will come later. This will be part of a full series where we rig everything you could possibly rig for this entire outfit. And we do a DIY. And it'll be a very, very nice in-depth tutorial. It'll be the best one on YouTube. At least, that's what I foresee. Right now, before we can even do that, we need to install this monster. Because the front bow area was taller than the bow plate, we needed to level it out. So we got some flat bar here that was the appropriate thickness, and we stuck it underneath. Unifying those together in conjunction with the bow plate gave it a level fit and also really, really strengthened that area. That bow is never going to flex regardless of how high the trolling motor is running. We used 1 4 inch stainless hardware that came with a trolling motor. It gives you 4 bolts and associated hardware to put it through. You can also get isolator caps if you're worried about them flexing or getting done underneath. This one comes with its own shock. You can get aftermarket shocks from TH Marine, 
to put on any trolling motor, but this one and a lot of the new ones actually just come with their own shock. And this is fairly easy to install. Pretty awesome interface. It all mounts pretty seamlessly together. This is the pretty much the nuts and bolts of attaching any trolling motor doing it this way. This one is a little bit more complicated because of all the electronics involved and the fact that it's going to have a bunch of things linked to it. Ever since I started doing these bows like this, I've always wanted to put gator skins on them because the bow takes a lot of beatings. It rubs against the docks, the first thing to get stepped on, the first thing to get stepped off and launched off, and uh, so a thick, robust neoprene rubber matting like this that has UV inhibitors inside of it is the absolute perfect thing to lay on it. There are a few items that TH Marine makes that you might want to consider on a trolling motor that's this high end. One is the G-Force Eliminator for the prop, and the other is this G-Force handle, which replaces the stock handle in a very easy process we're about to show you now. And the event is, apparently these stock ones are known to break. Who knew? I think for a trolling motor that costs three to four grand, you should have the pull handle on point. But whatever, this aftermarket one is supposed to be the best on the market. And so we're going to go ahead and install it, and it's pretty easy. Observe. If you can line these together, and you can wrap a thin amount of tape around them to where they don't really bind when you're pulling them through the hole, you can actually just pull the old one right out and pull this new one right in. And then it's just very, very simple. So just kind of very, very craftily put this on there like that. This is the little anchor that comes stock with this kit. The stock anchor for the other one goes on the other end of it, but this one is specifically for the front of this G-Force unit. You put two set screws on each side and you set them together right alongside the actual unit here. And then it just kind of goes right in there. And then there's just a little cap that pushes right in and pressure fits right in. And it's very, very simple. This is like a five minute mod. Pretty nice handle. So I will likely do this to my old tricks uh, here in the future, but that's later. We have yet to be the most insane complicated wire job that I will personally have ever done. Um, to all you wiring gurus out there, it probably looks like tiddlywinks, but to me, to stick this many electronics inside a 14 foot boat and still make it seamless is a chore. So wait for that, it's not gonna be fun. <laughs>